Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be speaking about the Mark 8 Golf R and why it's not going to be 400 brake horsepower and also the potential for a Golf R Plus. Stay tuned and let's get into it. Oh and by the way guys, the R400 will never be a thing. So we're going to go into this video by looking at a picture of a Mark 8 Golf R which I'll put on the screen in a second. There's loads of images on the internet of the Mark 8 GTI, the Mark 8 Golf itself and also just different renders and different photos of this car being spied but this is the one that caught my eye. This is one by Auto Express, and yes, you can clearly see it's rendered simply because if you look at the side profile of the car, it is literally the Mark 7 Golf. The rear end of the car is quite interesting though. You look at the Golf along the centre, still got the quad tailpipes, and it still looks fairly tame. If you'd like to look at some more images of the Mark 8 Golf R, get yourself on Google, have a look, and you'll see the different images that come up from AutoCar, Auto Express, Car Wow, all with different renders of how they think the Mark 8 Golf R is going to look. It's pretty well known news now that the 2019 Mark 8 Golf R has been pushed back. It was supposed to debut at the 2019 Frankfurt Motor Show, but it's looking like we're going to be getting the car in 2020. So we might start seeing cars that are appearing at shows towards the back end of the year but it's looking like a 2020 release which means that we're not going to have to wait as long for the GTI and the R variants. So moving on to the engines then and probably the reason why you clicked on this video what we know about the Mark 8 Golf R engine. Now there's been so much speculation about the engine people have been talking about 420 brake, 400 brake, 380, 350, 320 it's just ridiculous but what I am going to say is that the Mark 8 Golf R is going to be powered by the same EA AAA engine that's in the outgoing model obviously with various bits added and removed. A lot of people were speaking about the Mark 8 Golf R and GTR receiving hybridized support so a mild hybrid engine in addition to the internal combustion engine but Volkswagen have confirmed that the Mark 7 GTI will not be getting that they've not said anything about the Golf R but I personally think that it won't happen until the Mark 9. Power wise a lot of people including myself have been hoping for the magical 400 brake horsepower mark but the reality is it's probably not going to happen and the reason behind that is when it gets to the 400 brake horsepower mark it's going to be knocking on the door of some really big boys it's going to be knocking on the door of the RS3 and the A45S so unfortunately with the Audi RS3 and the Golf R potentially being competitors it won't happen now you've probably seen pictures and videos of the R400 driving around the Nürburgring yes it was confirmed by Volkswagen to be of test of the 2.5 TFSI engine that's in the RS3 power plant in the Golf going around the Nürburgring. Unfortunately it's not looking like it's going to happen. Many people hoped it for the Mark 7 but there might be something for the Mark 8. And before we get all whiny in the comments, Volkswagen's own comments on the R400 was that it would be too much to buy and too much to maintain. I personally think they wouldn't have done it because it, like I say, had been knocking on the door of the RS3. They are competing cars and historically Volkswagen's have been cheaper than Audi's so if you had a 400 brake horsepower Golf R and 400 brake horsepower RS3 with the same drivetrain and the same setup but a cheaper cost for the Golf, what would you go for? So just before I came and filmed this video I came across an incredibly interesting article from CarBuzz, so shout out to them guys, about a Golf R Plus. Now a Golf R Plus could potentially be a halo model for the range and also a bit of extra power on top of the, the normal car but not quite at the level of the RS3. Now what they're going to be saying is they're going to take parts from the R400 concept which you'll see here and also the TCR race car which you'll see here to see speeds of up to 177 miles an hour and 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds. So as I mentioned, this was on the CarBuzz website and they claim to have spoken to an insider about the car. So I'm going to put a quote on screen here just so you can see it and I'll read it out now and it says... We're looking at introducing a new Halo performance model that would offer a level of performance beyond that of the next Golf R. It will also look considerably more aggressive than the new Golf R with the broader front wings which have been adopted in combination with a widened front track. So again, just on the back of the Golf R Plus, it hasn't been 100% confirmed but what has been said is that it's got the backing of the Volkswagen Boss which I think his name is Herman Dies. I'm not sure. 
but it's looking to be, if it is going to go into production, it's looking to be released in 2020 alongside the new Mark 8 Golf R and have a price tag similar to that of an RS3, so 44, 45,000 or $50,000 if you're over in the States. So without making an incredibly in-depth and long video about the Mark 8 Golf R and all things going on with it, I think we've pretty much covered the most important points. What do you think about the renders of the Mark 8 Golf R? What do you think about the potential of a hybridized system? And more importantly, what do you think about a Golf R Plus? Let me know down in the comments below. Remember to go and follow me on my social media, which will be here or here. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. But until next time, I'll see you then. <laughs>